Hey guys, what's up? This is Eric Reagan of Photography Bay and I want to take a minute or two to show you how I deal with too much redness on people's faces using only uh, Lightroom. Like a lot of you, I spend probably 95% of my time in Lightroom and actually try to figure out more and more ways to avoid having to go over to Photoshop at all. Uh, sometimes you have to go over to Photoshop, but if possible I try to stay in Lightroom just to keep with the simple workflow over there. This is actually very similar to a method I saw Aaron Nace from Flurn uh, using Photoshop. Uh, and I'll link to his video in the description and on the Photography Bay post as well. And it's actually a, a little more precise if you do this in Photoshop. But again, I found 95% of the time this method gets the results that I'm after. So here we've got a shot of my goofy mug. And I've got a little more red in the skin tones of my face than I want. Specifically on the shadow side and the cheeks and, and nose area. So I can change the white balance or the tint uh, to, to maybe move the skin tones closer to what I'm after. But... That's going to affect the color of the entire image, every color in the entire image. Uh, it's going to warm it up or cool it down or, or change the um, magenta or cyan tones of the entire image. And what I really want to limit the effect to is just the red in my face. So fixing this is actually just two clicks and a drag of the mouse. I need to go to the HSL panel and specifically look to the hue panel. Now I know from doing this over and over that the next part there's just two hues that I want to adjust and that's the red and the orange. But everyone's skin is going to have different values of each and the way I select the hues is to grab this little target adjustment tool in the hue panel and hover the crosshairs over the red portion of the skin that I want to change. Click and drag up and you'll see the red skin clear up. If you drag down it's going to actually add more red to the skin and push it closer to a magenta kind of red. After you've got it where you want, you can actually go in and fine tune the individual sliders if you want to, but I found that two seconds with the target adjustment tool from the hue panel solves most of the red skin problems that I run into. You can also use this tool to make more drastic changes to other colors, but remember these are global changes across the image with regard to the particular color that you've selected. So it needs to be an isolated color in your image to get the result you want. And that's where the 5% Photoshop comes in. Sometimes you have red or oranges in a photo that you want to maintain the hue that you've captured or how you've edited it. And in those cases, you'll need to mask your hues in the face and skin and Lightroom doesn't give us that option yet. Hopefully, that's something Adobe will add within the next version or two. And you can check out the Flurn video from Aaron Nays for a guide on how to do that. Hope this helps you be a little more efficient with your skin corrections in Lightroom. Stay tuned for more Lightroom photography tips from Photography Bay.